Greetings. Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Jacobson, a board-certified psychiatrist. Okay, so uh, stop using the past to find someone to blame. That's what we're going to talk about today. And what does it mean? Well, the most common thing that this has to do with is, is ultimately our parents. Many people are adults. Uh, they're, uh, you know, decades into being adults, and they still uh, are angry and resentful and bitter towards their parents and blame their parents for screwing them up. You know, now I'm not saying that their parents aren't at fault. They may be uh, in spades. They, yeah, it may be big time that they got damaged and abused and neglected and abandoned and all sorts of horrible things uh, happened to them. But the bottom line is here and now where you find yourself, it serves little purpose to hang on to that resentment, that bitterness and that blame. Because as long as you hang on to that blame, it's your fault that I got nothing now. It's your fault that I can't have relationships. It's your fault that I can't hold down a job. It's your fault that I don't have a lot of money. It's your fault that I'm not healthier, okay? We put all of this blame onto other people in our past, onto past circumstances, and it could be parents, it could be uh, co-workers, it could be friends uh, who we feel betrayed us, it could be uh, employers who fired us, okay? But the bottom line is that serves no useful purpose. In fact, all it does is keeps you entrenched in a sense of victimhood and in a sense, in a belief that you are powerless uh, to uh, alter the course of your life. Most people are afraid to alter the course of their lives. So that's why they continue to blame their parents and blame other people because ultimately they're afraid to take risks. They're afraid to go forward. They're afraid to strike out on their own and see whether they can pull it off or not, whether they can like create great success and happiness and abundance or not. So rather than take that, that effort and take that risk, they find a safety in just blaming the past. You know, it's not my fault that I'm here. Okay, and so uh, th this is obviously twisted logic because although uh, although yeah, you get to blame the past, and it's not my fault that I don't have what I want now. But on the other hand, you don't get what you want because you're afraid to go forward because you're using the past to cripple yourself. So the key is it's pointless. It doesn't matter if your parents or anybody tied one hand behind your back as they pushed you out the door and into the world and into adulthood. You have choices now. No matter what has happened to you, you have choices now to make the life that you want. Uh, there are many people who were born with disabilities. Uh, sh shall I mention Helen Keller? Hello? Right. And she uh, managed to become a, you know, a world-renowned speaker and author and leader and teacher and healer. Okay, so uh, it doesn't matter what hand you are dealt. You can make the most of it. You can make incredible things happen on the planet. You can make a life worth living, a life uh, uh, of, of tremendous joy uh, and happiness. Okay? But the first thing you got to do is let go of the past. Let go of the blame game. It's all irrelevant. The past isn't real. All, all we have is now. And you have choices now to make. So get busy. Get proactive. Make a list of your goals. Make a list of your aspirations. You know, and then make a list of, of some of the steps you need to take to get there. And then take one of those steps. It can be baby steps. That's fine. But start the ball rolling. You know, first uh, define what you want. Think about how you might get there. Brainstorm with your with yourself, with others. You know, network, uh, and then take action. Be proactive. Take steps towards those goals and dreams. You know, thy will be done. Okay, that's what it for today. Thanks. Take care. Peace be with you. See you next time.